Hi everybody, this is Patrick from Doggy Dashboard, and today I'm going to show you how to use the invoicing feature of Doggy Dashboard. So to create invoices, you can click this uh, button right here that says Send Invoices, or you can go to the Services and scroll down to Invoicing. So we're going to go to the Invoices page. You can see there's no invoices right now, so let's click here to create a new invoice. And now the first step for creating invoices, if you want to have items that you use on several invoices that you're going to be using often, I would suggest go here to step one and create invoice items that you'll reuse in the future. So let's say we have one called full day daycare and it's $25. And there you go, you can see it's been added. We'll do a half day daycare, which will be $15. And we'll do one called nail clipping, which will be $5. So you can see these are just some basic ones. You can add as many as you'd like. Once you create those, click here to refresh the page. And now in these invoice line dropdowns, you can see that full day daycare is listed, half day daycare is listed, and so is nail clipping. So for the first invoice, we're going to type in a client here, Jill Jones. And we're going to not email her the invoice. It's due on January 5th. Let's make it due January 12th. Uh, we're going to send a message that says, thank you for your business. Please pay via PayPal or in cash at your next visit. Doggy Dashboard does not offer credit card processing, so you'll have to figure out a way to do um, your payment processing. It does everything but credit card processing. So there we have the note. And so let's say we have a, a full day of daycare. There was uh, five of those for the week. And you can see it automatically totals the invoice to 125. And let's say both of her dogs got their nails clipped. So it's two nail clippings. And there we have 135. And you can see that if we wanted to, we could click here and finalize the invoice. And it would finalize the invoice. Or we can save the invoice and finish later. Um, but what we want to do right here is we're going to add a custom invoice line. So let's say something comes up that we want to add to the invoice, but it's not one of our usual um, items that we use off. You click custom here, and here you can put um, anything you want to. Let's say we sold them a dog toy. Dog toy. We sold them uh, the price of it was $7.50, and there was one of them. And you can see instantly dog toy for $7.50 calculates $7.50. And let's just put save invoice and finish later. So the invoice is being saved. And now you can see that the invoice is in open status. Uh, so the invoice is open. It hasn't been completed yet. And let's say we did this because we want to add a few more things to this invoice over the course of the week um, before we give it to Jill on Friday when she picks up her dogs. So we'll go here to edit invoice. And you can see all of our invoice items are still there. Uh, daycare for five, nail clipping for two, dog toy for $7.50. Let's add one more uh, custom line. We'll say this was a um, dog sweater, and it was $20, and we sold two of those. So $40 gets added to the invoice. We come down here, we update the total to get the total value, and click Update Invoice. And now you can see the invoice dog sweater is listed there for $40. And we're going to now mark this as an active invoice. There we go. And now if we wanted to, we could click here to email this invoice directly to Jill Jones. She'll get it. And then when she visits this, this page, she uh, can see how much she owes and she'll pay you the next time she comes. And so that's how I use Doggy Dashboard invoicing. Once again, it does everything but credit card processing. Adding credit card processing to Doggy Dashboard would significantly increase the monthly price, probably do around $100 a month. And so as a way to keep the price at just $25 a month, I've decided to not include credit card processing. And plus, uh, most business owners already have a credit card processing system, be it Square, Stripe, or just uh, a terminal from their local bank. So thank you very much for watching this, this video, and uh, have a great afternoon. Bye.